Hello YouTube, Dan here, or Danimal, or Danaman69, and this is about my fourth time doing this because Audacity keeps failing on me. Anyway, I've got the Time Travel Will Tell Easter Egg on the Shangri-La map, I think it's called, and step one is to activate the Eclipse. You need four people to do this, and you need to be at the spawn, and there's four buttons surrounding the Quick Revive machine. Hit the four buttons at the exact same time and you'll activate the eclipse. Come down to here, hit that button that I just hit and then you'll see these bricks on the floor. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. If one person is standing on one brick you'll see a symbol. If two people are standing on two bricks you won't see no symbols. So you need one person doing this and another person doing this. There's 12, there's 12 bricks on this side of the map and 12 bricks on the other side of the map. You need one person on this side, one person on the other side. What you're going to do is the person on this side has to say which symbol they have when they tread on it. Once they've explained it, or once they know, they step off of it, explain the symbol, tell the guy on the other side of the map what the symbol is. Then, he has to locate the same symbol on that side of the map. Once he's found it, he then stands on it. Well, obviously he's going to stand on it. But once he's found it, he needs to stand off of it. He needs to stay off of it and tell you to stand on the same symbol. You stand on the same symbol, then he stands on it after you stand on it, and then they will both disappear. And you need to do that until you've done all 12 symbols. And so this is... It's not really that hard, it's just a bit annoying because you have to explain what the symbol looks like and what it is. So obviously you need a lot of communication and a lot of teamwork. So once you've done this... uh. That is basically step one done. You, like this is the last one here now. And uh, yeah, you're, what's going to happen is a uh, crystal will rise at the bottom of the map here. And once that rises, uh, the guys under the map will start talking to you. And they're going to start saying shit like, oh, thank you for freeing us. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you'll hear the Easter egg noise to know that you've done that step. You'll hear that noise. And that noise means you've completed that step. So you can move on to the next step. And the next step is... First thing you need to do is activate the Eclipse again. You're going to need to activate this Eclipse a lot. This is the thing that takes you back in time and forwards and backwards and shit like that. Anyway, it's like time travel. So once you've done that, come down here. But this time, go down the cave... And at the bottom of this cave, you'll see, you'll come to this room. In this room, there's a metal grating on the floor. And they are trapped underneath it. You can't see them, so don't bother trying. You can just hear them. And it's like a pressure plate, this is. You need three people to stand on the metal grating. And then the fourth person, which is me, runs up here. And where I'm going is, I'm going to the uh, the water slide. That's where I'm going to be going anyway. I mean, you can't see it yet, but I'm getting there, slowly but surely. So yeah, the fourth person wants to run to the water slide and go down the water slide. And once he goes down the water slide, that will uh, activate the pressure plate some... Well, it'll hit it at a force, such a force, that it will activate the pressure plate and open the way for them to get free, I suppose. And then that's the next step done. And you'll hear your noise again to know you've done it. You'll get another crystal rise. And I'm doing this very fast, as you can tell. Next part, you want to activate the eclipse again. And this time, you go into the mud room. But you get stuck by those stupid things. Anyway, a meteor is going to land on this cliff here. And make a farting noise. And you shoot it with a ray gun. And it's like a crystal. And then you shrink it with the shrink gun. And then you stab it, and then it goes down the slide, and you follow it. Once you reach the bottom, you might not be able to see it because I did this so fast, but it will roll across here, land on this, which I'm standing on, and shoot up with you, and land there. Mine did shoot up with me, you just didn't see it because it was a bit too fast, but it did happen. Once that's done, you'll get another crystal, and you'll hear your noise again. And that's that step done again. Now, after this step, you can you listen to this radio if you want. You don't have to. 
but it's up to you. But anyway, after this step, you need to start a new round, and you need to, um, basically this radio is going to tell you that these guys get stuck with gas, that's all it's going to say. But anyway, yeah, you're going to need to start a new round, and you're going to need to get a napalm zombie, and you'll also need about five crawlers. And once you've got that, keep them all alive, and that is for the next step, basically. And I'll tell you after this radio's finished what you are to do with those things. Actually, that's for like the next three steps, but it's better to prepare you. <laughs> okay, so this radio is taking long. Once the radio shuts up, you want to go activate your eclipse again. Okay, so activate the Eclipse, and now you're gonna, I don't know, I think you go back in time now to when the guys recorded the radio, and, um, and, uh, you, um, need to, uh, pull this valve, you need to spin it four times, and once you spin that four times, they're gonna be like, that seems to have stopped the gas, but, you know, we're still... We still can't get out. So, um, you need to bring the napalm zombie. Well, Laura the napalm zombie, which you got from the last, um, the last round, which you left napalm zombie and five crawlers. You need to bring that napalm zombie down this tunnel and light on, light up the steam coming out of this gas. And once you've lit that up, that is basically, there's more than one gas, well, one piece of steam. There's a quite quite a lot of steams that you need to light up and basically you just want to lure it and I'm basically showing you where to go so I fast forwarded it because it's just long and I'm sorry if you just heard my phone ring back then I do apologize and I'm sorry if you can hear that horrible noise that phones make but yeah anyway so you want to get this zombie into the power room that's where you're gonna lead it because the last steam thing is basically in the power room it's that's the last steam thing there, the one I just knifed. I don't know if you saw it because it's like sped up, but that's the one I knifed. And once it does get to the power room, you can actually then kill the napalm zombie. And you're gonna need two people to buy spiked claymores once the zombie's dead, because that's for the next part of the Easter egg. You're gonna need spiked claymores for the next part. So yeah, we'll just wait for us to kill this, and I think I'll buy claymores after this as well. Okay, so he's taken quite a while to kill. So I buy the claymores, and then I kill the zombie. Or we kill the zombie, and then... You want to run back to the spawn again, because... Well, not even the spawn, you run towards the spawn. And you come down this tunnel, and you pull this lever, which is next to the valve. And once you've pulled the lever, they say that did it, we're free. Now let's get out of here before spikes come out, and the walls start doing some shit. Because basically the walls were closing in on them, and that stops the walls from closing in. And you basically protect them. And that's the next step done. Another crystal will rise. Um, I think it's that one. Not the one that I just looked at, but that one there. That one will rise. And now, you want to... Like, if you've still got the five crawlers from when I told you to keep them, you want to... Le bring them down towards the other tunnel, but don't actually put them in the tunnel. Just bring them down towards it and activate the eclipse. Once you well, don't activate it yet. Actually, first of all, just bring all your crawlers towards this tunnel so they're like on the bridge, ready to come to the tunnel. And then all four of you go activate the eclipse and then come back down this tunnel and plant your spiked claymores in front of the holes. There's like holes that are uh, in the wall. And the idea is that you're going to plug the holes with the claymores. So what you want to do is put the claymores in front of the hole. And uh, obviously when the zombie triggers it, it will plug the hole. There's uh, four holes. Once you've plugged all of them, that's half of this part done. And then you've got to do something else, which isn't really hard. So don't worry too much. But yeah, once that's done, which should be done soon. I think this is the last one down here. With the last two, with the last two um, holes, you can actually use one zombie and one 
claymore if you're lucky like we used one but i just use four just to, or use two claymores and two zombies just to be safe once you've done it push this button which even though it tells you not to you push it anyway once you've pushed that you will uh be done on that step now you're gonna do the next step what you wanna do is run all the way back to the spawn again and activate the eclipse the loving eclipse that we all love activate it and now you're gonna get the same symbols that were on the floor they are going to appear on the walls now and what you want to do there's going to be 12 of them you just want to keep stabbing them until they light up and once they've lit up then you can move on to the next one um, with this you don't there is another part of this is this step that you need to do which is a trap outside the map and I haven't actually showed you the trap outside the map yet because I did it in a different order to what it, like, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, but I did it in this order anyway. I did the signs first rather than the trap first. But if it was me, I would uh, do the trap first. Because I didn't know that you could do the trap first. But anyway, do the I would do the trap first for you guys. Do the trap first, which you'll see in a minute. And once you've done the trap, then you can do the symbols on the wall. Or just do the symbols and the trap at the same time just do some of the symbols on the way to the trap and then do the trap basically this is the trap anyway just throw an explosive at the trap it doesn't have to be a monkey bomb you throw an explosive at it I'm sorry if I'm confusing you by the way <laughs> but yeah throw an explosive at it blow the trap up and then you're gonna hit the symbols on the wall light them all up once they're all lit and up then that'll be the end of the easter egg like, I thought I'd already hit all the symbols but in my case I hadn't hit all the symbols so that then told me that I didn't actually need to hit all the symbols first. It didn't matter what order I did it in. I just needed to hit the symbols and do the trap. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. And obviously you've got to be on the eclipse when you've hit all the symbols and done the trap. So this was the last symbol for me over here. The one that we missed. Once you activate it. They're going to be like. You're going to hear your noise. To know that you've done it. And there's the noise. For the next part, you're going to need a um, shrink gun. And by the way, you'll get another crystal from what you just did. Actually, you're not even going to need the shrink gun. Sorry, I've, this is the wrong part. The wrong. This is a different part. You need to come for this radio. You don't have to come to the radio, but you know, if you don't want to listen to it, you can. But the numbers you're going to get from this radio are what you're going to need for the next step. But I can just tell you the numbers because you know you're watching this video. And I'll let you listen. But the numbers are... Actually, I don't even need to let you listen. I already know the numbers. The numbers are 16, 1, 3, and 4. Once you've got the numbers, you're going to need to um, go and activate the Eclipse again. And that's the, this is going to be the next step, obviously. Each time you do a step, you have to activate the Eclipse, pretty much. So, yeah, activate the Eclipse. Now you run into the Mud Room... And on the left hand side, I think this is number three. And on the right hand side, it no, that's number four. The left hand side's number four, the right hand side is number three. And then, yep, number three. And this one is number four. Obviously, this is the code from the radio. And on the left hand side over there, that's number 16. And on the right hand side, that's number one. And that thing annoys me. Okay, so the 16 doesn't actually look like a 16 because it's a symbol, but the 16 is like, it looks like a C, then a line, and then a dot. That's the 16. And then, you don't have to do these in order, by the way, and then do number 1. I'm pretty sure you can just, as long as you've got the numbers on the dial, you can just do it the way you want. It doesn't have to be in order. And then that will raise another crystal, and you'll hear that step complete. For this step... This is the step that you're going to need the uh, shrink gun for upgraded. Activate the eclipse. Make sure you have the shrink gun upgraded. You don't have to have it. Somebody with you does. Like I didn't have it at this point, but my friend did. And the dynamite that you need for the next step is on that crystal that I just looked at. What you're going to need to do is knife four gongs. There's four gongs in the map, and they're going to make a ringing sound. 
you have to do it in order or if you well if you don't do them in order or if you don't well they're not really in order but there's four gongs that make the ringing sound and then the other gongs will cancel it out if you do the wrong gong obviously it's going to cancel it out and I'm pretty sure that it's different each time you do it so I don't think it's going to be the same gongs as what I did but if you do activate the four gongs and the ringing sound doesn't stop then you've done it right and then you can basically shoot your crystals in the skies and the crystals will be glowing anyway once you've activated them so you'll know if you've done it right so yeah I'm gonna do the fourth one now I believe Let's wait for my long ass to do it okay so look there's that crystal is actually glowing now because we've just activated the gongs and you can hear the noise so once you've done that you want to come over to where the dynamite was where it was hanging and the person with the shrink gun whether it be you or someone else needs to shoot the crystals I don't think it matters which crystal you shoot as long as it hits the crystal with the dynamite and then the dynamite will fall and you can catch it once you've caught it you don't need to hold X to catch it by the way just let it land on your head once you've caught it go back and the guy with the shrink gun needs to hit the crystal over there the one that I'm gonna shoot he needs to hit that crystal once he's hit that crystal it will bounce off all the other crystals come out the last one and shrink that and when that's shrunk that is that part done that's the next part done now for this part you can carry on you can carry on with this you need to uh, basically activate the upgrade room just activate the upgrade room really quickly before the eclipse runs out and then come up here and the guys are going to be talking shit to you and obviously I glitched through the wall there I'm not supposed to but I did like a retard I didn't actually expect it to show me the inside but that's what's on the other side anyway that's what you'll see on the other side when you complete this and you're going to want to give these guys the dynamite and then they're going to tell you to get down because they're going to blow the wall up and when they blow the wall up it's apparently going to hurt you I didn't get down because I'm a little bit of a rebel like that but anyway you're supposed to get down and once you've done that I suppose what you could do now, because you're going to need to upgrade, you're going to need to activate the upgrade room again, because the stairs are going to, you know, they're going to disappear. So I suppose whilst they're going to blow it up, you could run down and get onto your switches, so you can activate it straight away as soon as it becomes unactivated. So, uh, yeah, once you've activated it, the wall will open, and the power stone, I think it's called the power stone, and, uh, I think, well, I think that's what it's called, it's like, basically that stone that's on the other side of that wall, once you pick it up, whoever picks it up will have seven perks and the perks will be permanent for that person only. And that person only will have permanent perks, not nobody else, but only the person with the stone has it. Once that's done, you get your achievement. You, well, whoever picks up the stone, you get your achievement. Everyone gets the achievement. But that's basically it, guys. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.